Remove old timber or PVC fascia, soffit and dispose of in a responsible manner. Cut and install soffit supports using either PVC offcuts or timber. Align the support so that when the soffit is installed, all is level. Use a string line to align the supports along the hole length. Working from the front edge, assess where the soffit will need to be installed. Using a string line, align the first length of soffit. Make the soffit support to aid alignment and continue this along the whole length of the installation. The first section of soffit can now be installed, ensuring the front edge matches the alignment marks. Using either a staple gun or ring shank nails, attach the soffit to the supporting timbers. The second piece and any subsequent pieces can now be installed. If using multi-purpose, plain or vented soffit, then an H-section trim will be required to join the two boards together. Cut to suit using a fine tooth saw. The front edge of soffit should also be supported by nailing at this point and will eventually be hidden by the fascia. If the soffit is not supported by brickwork, the rear edge can be fastened to the supporting batten using 40mm polytop nails. If short widths of soffit are required, these can be cut and installed as necessary. Unsupported soffit resting on a wall can be braced. The first section of fascia can now be installed using two 65mm ring shank plastic headed nails at 600mm centres. At this point, the nail should be left proud and the protective film removed. Once removed, the nails can be fully hammered home. A 10mm expansion gap should be left between fascia boards. This gap will be substantially covered by an inline joint, which is cut to suit the depth of the fascia. Corner joints are also cut to suit. It is recommended that corners and joints are attached to the fascia using superglue, activator, and a low modulus neutral cure silicone sealant. Ventilation can be provided to the roof space by various means. Prevented soffit, ventilation trims, and as in this case, over fascia ventilation strip. Please ensure that you have the correct ventilation requirements for your roof space. It is advisable to install our eaves protection system to protect and support the lower edges of roof felt or breathable membrane. The rear edge of the soffit can be sealed using low modulus neutral silicone sealant if required. The gable end barge board is constructed in the same way. Framing may be required to construct the box end, which is the junction of the barge board and fascia. There are several ways to construct a box end board. Cloaking fillet and the end tiles slates are removed to allow easier installation of the barge board. Make detailed measurements for the section of fascia to be cut for the box end. Using a larger section of fascia board, cut the required shape. Again, use polytop nails to attach to the box end board. Measure and cut to size the board to be used for the barge board. Then attach using polytop nails. Once again, cover the expansion gap. The apex of the gable expansion joint can be covered using a variety of methods such as decorative vinyls. Replace the cloaking fillet and using a sand and mortar mix, rebed the end tiles.
All edges to barge board and soffit edges can be sealed using low modulus neutral silicone sealant. Finally, wipe down the fascia and soffit to leave a nice, shiny finish. This is just one example of how a property can be enhanced cost-effectively, giving many years of low maintenance and protection in the roof space.